Hi, in this problem, we're going to simplify 7 cube root of 4 plus 8 cube root of 4. And there's a couple of ways to think about this. So I'm going to show you three different ways to do it. So method one, um, which a lot of people like, is basically you can pull out the cube root of 4 because you have a common factor. So you can put it in the front or you can put it in the back. Um, I'm going to put it in the back like this. So basically, we're going to pull it out. And then we have, what's missing here? What do you multiply by the cube root of 4 to get this? 7. And then what do you multiply by the cube root of 4 to get this? Well, 8. And there's a plus. And then 7 plus 8 is 15. You have 15 cube root of 4. Another way to do it, so this is method 1. Method 2. Three different ways to think about it. Is to pull it out and put it in the front. So you would get cube root of 4. And then you put a parentheses and you say, okay, what do you multiply by the cube root of 4 to get this? Well, 7. And what do you multiply by the cube root of 4 to get this? Well, 8. So this is cube root of 4 times 15. But generally, you want to put the number in the front because it's not in the cube root, so there's no confusion. This is 15 cube root of 4. And the last way to do it is the way I prefer to do it. Basically, you just look at this and you say, hey, 7 plus 8 is 15. Done. Right? And you can do that because you have, seven, you have 7 of these plus 8 of these. So when you add them up, you have 15 of these. right? Because it's a common factor. It's like, it's like 7x plus 8x is 15x. Same thing, right? And this is your x. So a couple different ways to think about the same problem. Good luck.